What's going on, racers? Thank you for tuning in for another episode of JB Trickle RC. Got something special coming for you for this week. You're going to be getting two uploads this week. And what we're going over is since the 2022 outdoor racing season is upon us, I thought I would share with you guys my pre-break in uh, tire routines. Uh, the two different videos, both the same subject. This video you're watching now is going to be about the foam tires that we run on our purpose-built um, dirt oval cars, late models, EDMs, whatever. If it's a foam tire car, this break-in method is going to help you. Um, I'd like to also start off the video saying this video, I'm not going to go over the full truing process. I've got another video up on the channel already where I do that. I go into detail step-by-step, step, share my method. And if you want to check out that video so you'll know how to cut these things down a diameter, slot them, groove them, and so on and so forth, you'll be able to check it out in that video. Um, that will be a clickable link at the end of this video, and I'll also have that link in the video description for this episode. Uh, again, this video is just going to be going over my pre-break-in process. What do I mean by pre-break-in process? Once the full truing process is complete and the tires have been uh, grooved, uh, cut the diameter, grooved, so on and so forth, what I like to do is add a little bit of feathering on these tires, some pre-feathering. Uh, it's still going to take the track to help you fully break in the tires, but adding a little bit of pre-feathering, some pre-break-in will speed up that process and you'll be able to hit the track with some tires that are going to be a little bit better right off the get-go. Guys, before we jump into the actual pre-break-in tutorial, I do want to just say this is my method. There's more ways of doing it. There's other ways that you can accomplish a similar set, but this is my way. I want to share with you guys. I'm hoping uh, that it'll help one of you newer foam tire racers out there somewhere. But with all that said, guys, hope you enjoy the video. Let's jump right to it. All right, everyone. Uh, pretty much just like the intro said, um, this is just going to be my pre-break-in method for my foam dirt oval RC racing tires. If you want to see the, my full truing tutorial video where I cut the tires to diameter, um, cut the tires with all the grooves and cross cuts, so on and so forth, check out my other tire truing video that's going to be linked in the uh, description of this video and as well as a clickable link at the end of this video. Um, this one, this video is going to be purely about pre-break-in method, okay? Now, what do I mean by the pre-break-in method? To get a so to, to get a pre-break in on the tires before race day, um, why would you want to do that? It depends where you race. I've been at some tracks um, and be able to run a couple practices, and the tires already have some feathering in the tires. Um, I've been to a track where you can be there all race day and you still don't have any feathering on the tires. They're just hard to get broken in. So if you can get some pre-break in on these foam tires, it's gonna just help the car be a little bit better out of the gate. And no matter what, it, whether you pre-break in the tires or not, it's still gonna require track time on the tires to fully bring them in. But my pre-break in method is gonna help you if you're struggling to get them broken in on race day, or if you don't wanna, if you just don't, you know, have the time to get them broken in. You want to have some tires that's ready to hit the track and be a little bit better off right off the bat, you will. So, these tires, I've got rears. I have not done the cross cuts yet, but I have them marked for it. Um, hopefully, it'll show up on the video, but you can see all of these tires have already been cut to diameter. I like to cut at 270 and have already been grooved. No cross cuts on the rears yet because I want to put my pre-feathering, my pre-break in on these tires first. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, so here's a brand new tire that I've already cut and is ready to go. Let's use a left for a left tire. That would be a better representation. Now, if you look at these two tires, this is a tire that's got a, a few races on it. This is a brand new tire that I just uh, cut and grooved, okay? I'm gonna put them side by side, and I'm hoping, maybe try to get a little bit of that white background on it so you can see the difference. You're gonna see that the right side tire has some feathering. You can see how it's kind of pointed and how the tire goes into one direction, okay? Hopefully you can see that. So that's what we mean by pre-feathering and putting pre-break in. This is a natural uh, occurrence that's gonna happen to your foam tires running oval racing, and they're all gonna be leaning to the same direction. Okay, to give you a better idea of that, what I'm talking about, let me show you my car that has some tires that's already mounted on it. Okay, let me back this up and get a better angle. Uh, this tire here, you can probably see all the points, the end points are pointing towards what would be the inside of the car. Okay, so the points are always gonna be pointing this direction. Here's my right side rear. You can also see the points of those are pointing towards the inside of the car. 
trying to move this around without knocking off the camera here. Here's my right front. You can see the points of the feathering on the tire, again, pointing towards the inside of the car. My left front, slide this over so you can see it. It's easier to see with that white background. I'm trying to get it lined up for you there. But you can see again, those points are coming and pointing towards the inside of the car. So let me set the car up here and give you a little bit better of a visual representation of what I'm saying here. If you look at the car like this, and the car is gonna be always turning left because this is an oval car, those feathered points are always gonna be pointing towards the inside of the car. Battery position, you know, the inside, the left side of the car. Why am I explaining that? Because if you're gonna pre-feather the car, or if you're gonna pre-feather the tires, it is extremely easy to get them backwards. Because what, a, let me show you even more. For example, especially if you're using um, a, uh, a different color green, like the class I run, we can run greens or blues. I like to run blue on the right front most often. Um, so, and what do I mean by that? It's easy to get it backwards. So if I was to put this tire on here to get it pre-broken in, you're actually gonna be putting the tire on backwards. So you'd be feathering this in the opposite direction based on the way it's mounted to get the feathering in the proper direction. Because again, we want the feathering, the points on this tire to be pointing that way. So we're going to have to point it, do it this way here. That way it'll be pointing in the right direction whenever we actually take the tire off the lathe. So you do want to pay attention because if you're doing a left side, right side, again, you want to be careful of that. That's one reason why I always go in before I do anything. Um, I don't know if the lighting is going to show that, but I've already got that marked right front. LF, left front left rear, right rear, and so on. I've already got them marked. So we're gonna go ahead and get this process going, and I'm gonna show you what to do. Now, let me go ahead and throw a major disclaimer here, guys. You're doing a pre-break in. You do not wanna go too far with this, okay? Going too far, you can actually end up hurting the tire, or pretty much making the tire useless, okay? And I'm gonna tell you, to show you more about what I'm talking about here in just a moment, okay? So let's get this set in and go. All right, so whenever I cut the size, I'll groove my tires with my grooving tool and I'll usually round the edges. And again, you can see that on my full truing video with this. But to do a pre-break in, I use a smaller file, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I used. Um, you can get anything really. These are just nail files, thin uh, metal bladed nail files, okay? Um, and right here is a part number. I got these off of Amazon. So if you wanted to use the exact same ones that I got, that's what you would go by to get those, okay? Now, I'm not gonna turn on the lathe yet, and I'm gonna slide this a little bit closer so I got a little bit more room to work here. I'm still keeping it in the camera angle. So again, these are the things I want you to be careful of, okay? I'm trying to get this squared up. You do not wanna go in the groove and widen it. That's not, we're not going into the groove and then laying it over. We're not doing that. Okay, because if you do that, you're going to widen the groove and then you're going to cut these, your pre featherings way too deep and then it is going to be useless. So don't do that. Okay, what I'm going to do is once the tire's spinning and whatever, whether I'm doing a right or left, I'm going to find the groove by looking and then I'm going to just gently lay this down at a slight angle. Okay, let me try to hold it towards you. That way you can see what I'm doing more. I'm gonna find, let the edge find the groove. I'm not gonna go into the groove and then I'm gonna lay that down at a slight angle. And I'm gonna do that to every section. And we're just gonna, all we're doing is adding some pre-feathering to get that straight edge off so the tire is gonna have some more um, feathered edges like you see on this tire, okay? So again, this is a right front tire. So we want the pointed edges to be pointing towards the inside of the car. So you want it here, pointing that way, but the tire is on the lathe reversed. So I'm actually gonna feather it this way, okay? So with that said, we're gonna go ahead and turn this on and we're gonna go ahead and pre-feather this. And I'm gonna try to do it where you can see, normally I support the front and back, but I'm gonna try to get a little bit of feather on there just so you can see how I do it first. A little bit there. All right, I'm gonna have to use both hands. across the other side. 
little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, and a little bit here. And a little bit here. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull this tire off. And again, this is my right front. I'm gonna bring it around, blow it off a little bit. And now you can see the tire has some pre-feathering. You can see the pointed edges, this is gonna be the right front. So this would be this, Area here is going to be pointing to the right. You can see my feathered edges are all pointing towards the left, the inside of the car. Okay, and that's not a lot. I did not take a lot out of the tire. I just barely put any in there because I still, you're still going to need the track to get a lot of that break in in on the tire. Pre-feathering it is a pre-break-in method, and it's just going to help speed up your break-in process. That's what you're doing here, and that's going to make the tire come around a lot faster. Um, and I'll use this one as an example. This tire has been raced on. Now, look, focus on that lower edge. You can see how I'm kind of mimicking that. I didn't go deep. I didn't take too much off. This is a pre-feather, a pre-break-in method. If you go too deep or widen those grooves too much, you can ruin the tire. So little is a lot. That's probably the best way to put it. A little is a lot. But you can see that the feathering here... Now, granted, this right here is actually a... Um, uh, left side tire, so they're pointing in the right direct in the same direction. But you're going to see that the point again are going to be pointing towards the inside of the car because this would be your right front, this would be your left front, and the feathering always runs the same direction. Let's see if I can get the upper edge too. So a little is a lot, okay? So now we're going to do the left side tire. left side front now this one is how you mount it okay because the actual part that's going to be sticking out on the left side is here so you can feather this one just like you would on the actual car so now i'm actually going to come in and i'm going to try to get one again just a slight angle here on that leading edge just a little bit like that a little bit here and again, the edge of this file is just finding that groove and I'm not going into it. I'm pressing down at an angle. Nearly trued my tire again, but it wouldn't matter. They're already cut the size. Like I said, less is more whenever you're doing this, okay? You don't want to do a lot. And now we've got the same thing. So now we've got some pre-feather on our left front. Okay, you can see that the feathered sides are again pointing towards the outside or the inside, excuse me, the inside of the car, the left side of the car. Same thing, this is, enough, this is a raced used left front. This is a pre-broken in left front. You can see it's not quite as drastic as the worn tire yet, but you can see that the pre-feathering in it is gonna be running in that same direction. This is gonna help the tire come in faster. And the, the rear is the same way. And I just want you to know, you can do this still if you've already done your cross cuts. I don't like to do it. I like to do it before I cross cut, just for the possibility if you ended up going into the tire wrong, you poked it too hard, um, you know, there's several variables. You don't, I don't want to risk chunking my tire because I got cross cuts and then I'm laying something else in there. Um, I've done it with the cross cuts already before. Um, and I did it with success without an issue, but I thought about it later on saying you could be potentially asking for a chunk tire if you do that. So I like to do it beforehand. Okay. So this is a left rear.
Okay, again, this is my left rear. So we know the direction of feather that we've got to do on this tire. So I'm going to turn that on. And the same thing as before. I'm going to come in at an angle. Let the leading edge of this find the groove and then just slightly press down. Okay. Same as before, now we're on the rear. This is my left side tire. And you can kind of see the leading edge is gonna be pointing that way, the, the tip of that. Um, and I could probably go in and add just a little bit more pre-feathering to this tire. I'm looking at it against my background over there. But I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said, I don't wanna to go too drastic with it. Less is more. Uh, okay, we've already said that. Um, and again, here's the right rear, and we want to do the same thing, okay? But remember, the right rear does not mount like you would normally run it. We're actually going to be putting it on this way, so it'll be held in the jig properly. So we have to lay the file opposite of the way it should actually lay. So again, this is the right tire. You would normally do it, get some of that off so you can see better. We normally lay it on like this, but we're actually gonna be laying it on like this. So the tips of the feathering will be pointing in the correct direction because this is a right rear. The left side, you can do it the right way. The right side, you have to do it reverse because or else you're gonna have it backwards, you're feathering. So you don't wanna do that. All right, so just like before, we're gonna find that leading edge and then we're gonna go in and press down. Okay, get a little bit here. Here. I've got to use both hands. I tried to move it for the sake of the camera for you a little bit too, but you got to get in there with both hands and kind of guide that in too. All right. And like I said, guys, I'm not doing a lot. Less is more. Keep that in mind. Less is more. So that's pretty much how you do it. Let's get that, this is the right side. And again, we want those edges pointing this way, which you can see that they are the tips. If you're wondering what edge, what edge, you want the tips, okay? We're basically putting like a saw blade type tooth on there. And they're always gonna feather on an oval car the exact same direction, which will always be pointing towards the left side of the car, okay? And now that we've done this, if you wanna check it, okay, here's my right front and my right rear, okay? The feathering is all going in the same direction. And here's my left front and my left rear. And if we look at that more closely, you can see that the feathering is all going in the same direction. Again, whenever you're pre-feathering it, it's a little harder to see but again, the best example I can use is on a race used tire, which the feathering is a lot heavier. We're doing a pre-break in, not a full break in because you still need the tires to wear into the track as well, okay? But you can see here, this is what I'm talking about, the kind of that saw blade tooth effect on the tires. Uh, the point off these tires will always be pointing towards the, excuse me, the left side of the car, the inside of the car, not outside. Okay, so that's the best way to remember it. Then I'm going to add my cross cuts, and these tires are going to be race ready. Well, everyone, that pretty much sums it up for my foam tire pre-break-in method. And again, if you want to see my full truing tutorial, you can check that out in the link. And at the close of this video, I'll have that up for you so you'll be able to find that and watch that as well. And again, guys, like I said before, there's more than one way to do this. This is my method. This is something I've been using for a while now. Um, and I've had great success with it. So I'm hoping some of you newer foam tire dirt oval racers will find this video useful and can apply this to your pre-tire break-in game. Help get your tires a little bit better off.
before you get them on the track. But as always, guys, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate the support. If you're newer to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell icon, you'll get a notification every time I got a new upload on the channel. But as always, guys, I greatly appreciate it. If you're racing somewhere this coming weekend, best of luck to each and every one of you. We'll catch you guys on the next episode.